Welcome to Living History with Jared Jefferson. Today we have my guest that's a civil rights activist, comedian, and author, Dick Gregory. Thanks for coming on my show. Thank you, brother. Peace and love. Let's have fun, man. <laughs> right. so, who was with you during the civil rights movement? Who's what? Who was with you during the civil rights movement? Well, it varied. I, I, because I wasn't locked down into a certain place. I traveled all over the world. If King was in Europe, <coughs> making a speech or snick, whatever, whatever anybody wanted, I, I was there. I didn't belong to an organization. I mean, I joined them. But it's like if you was marching here, or you lived in Memphis, your, most of your time would be in Memphis, but I would come down march, might go to jail a day, stay in for three days, and then the next day I'd be in London telling them what happened. I wouldn't do it because your parents buy you food. And they don't know anything's wrong with it. So who are you going to come home, don't work, don't do nothing, and say, I can't eat this because it got this in it? So then you suffer. You go through all the changes that you go through. And so, and the fact that technology is moving so fast. You know, you, you look around and look at how many people wear glasses now. Because when this universe was put together, wasn't no such thing as reading, okay? So now the whole eye, and so now you got to do things to strengthen your eyes. Most parents don't even know that, you know? You just, and, and, then, and then walking. Nobody's talked about when I was a little boy, exercise. That's all you got. You go to the grocery store now, it's around the corner. You get in the car, get on your bike. And so all that, and I don't know if it can change, you know, because the people who's, who's in charge of that house, they don't know it. You know, and so you got, you got, you got, you got older folks that love you, you know, and, and they tell you about drugs and about crack and about all of that. But what they don't know, more black folks will die in the next three days because they hooked to sugar and salt than young folks will OD from hard drugs in the next year. They don't know that. And so that ignorance that's there. The mythology. This brain was made by the universal God, the same God that made the sun, the oceans, every mosquito, every bird was made by that, that God, that universal God. Now, this brain here, you ever, you ever charge your telephone? Yeah. Well, the brain, God, and that's his robot. All humans are supposed to be in bed 90 minutes after the sun go down. And then your brain gets recharged. That charge stops at 12 midnight. That's what the little nursery rhyme, if you're not in bed by midnight, you turn into a pumpkin. You ever heard that? Mm -hmm. What's the one part of your body look like a pumpkin? You hate it. So all at once, now things start happening, and now they got drugs. They won't tell you that you're not supposed to be up there. So now they got all kinds of medicines and drugs and stuff that you take to offset all the mistakes we're making. And so again, I just say, you know, this, this thing is moving so fast, so fast, that I don't, I don't believe it can be changed because of the ignorance of the people who go for it. How effective are marches? Marches, well, that's another ignorance, especially as black folks. If you go to any army in the world today, or the Navy, or the Air Force, with all the big guns and all the nuclear bugs, the first thing you do is start off marching. So these are crazy people who don't know a damn thing about life, that all oh, marches don't change nothing. Well, why are the military, why are the mightiest militaries in the world? Why are they still marching? Because boom, 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 boom. That's your heartbeat. Did you hear me? Boom, 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 boom. Well, my people don't know that. They're busy trying to feed you. Busy trying to teach you how to read and write. Busy trying to do your homework. You know, they run the television in the house and tell you you can't look at it. They got to be crazy. This is one of the most fascinating things in the history of the planet. It's television. And so when you talk about marching, 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 marching,
every calendar that's made. Huh? If you hate King, you look at the calendar, you see when he was born. That's how the universe works. The calendar. One of the reasons I became so successful, I was born October the 12th, Columbus Day. That was a holiday. I made myself believe that was for me. And then things change. Then things change. Then things change. What inspired you to write this book, Carlos Amasi? Okay, I want you to look at something here. Now, when you look at that, you see me where? In jail. No, that's you all in jail. That's you black folks in jail. I'm looking out at you all, and I'm free. You not. So I'm sitting there looking at all y'all who's in jail. Hmm? See, how you, see how you can change things around? Now, now you need to ask your father what I'm going to tell you now. If you wear a tight shoe on your foot, hmm, it rubs. The foot is made by God, the same force that made the sun and the moon. Huh? The shoe is made by humans. Some of them be drunk. I, I can, now, now, watch this here. Put your hand here. Now, if I rub this here, that'll start turning red. Mm -hmm. And then all at once, it start hurting. Why? Because the universe reacts to anything touching something it made. So now you're going to get a blister. Hmm? You ain't got no money, you keep wearing the shoe. Blister, and then it turns into a coin. Huh? Now watch this here. So when it gets to be a coin, the air, see your body breathes just like you. Huh? So when it gets to be a coin, the breathing stops, and then it hurts. And that's why you go to the diet and get it shaved down so oxygen can get in there. If you sit doing it, don't even know this. See, the universal God. Now, if you keep on wearing it, huh? It turns into a, a callus. A bunion first and a callus. And if there was somewhere I could wave a magic wand and you could go back when I was a little boy, you see old black men wearing them shoes and they have cut, they cut them. They cut it so the oxygen, they don't know. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Them old, those old high heel shoes, okay? So the oxygen. Now, if you keep wearing the shoe, the shoe will wear out. There's never been a pair of God's feet that a pair of shoes that a human made could wear it out. What I'm saying here, if we got a callus on our soul, and if you don't back up, it's coming down. That's what, that's what this was. Now, nah, most folks didn't even know which I care. I know universal law. Hmm? It's all meaningless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.